Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Natural Nans. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We're going to be talking about my piercings and the scale, the pain scale in getting the piercings and then also the pain scale in the actual healing of the piercings. Um, yeah, and also I think because I some of these piercings are a bit old, so it's like now I'm allowed to change them. So I also have a little haul from Novisa of the jewelry that I want to be putting into my piercings. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Um, let's start with let's go in order of the when I got them. So the first ones are my lobes. I think quite a few people have their lobes as their first. Um, I got these when I was in grade seven. So like my mom wasn't keen on piercing my ears when I was a baby, <laughs> which it's cool. I mean, I guess she was very much about like, if you're going to do it, it should be your choice. So yeah, these were, I did it at Claire's. It was like a, a gun situation. Um, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I did get an infection in them. So like, I think it was this one where my mom had to like, push the earring back in because I went on camp and like you know I'm in grade seven and it's camp like who's out here caring about cleaning their ears and stuff so it got infected but like it's fine I don't think you would even be able to tell if they were if they looked different or if they have they've been through things <laughs> so yeah this one the pain on a scale of one to ten I'd say was a five just because i was scared it was my first piercing and then healing wise apart from the infection that happened i'd say the pain was like a two um yeah then the next one that i got was this industrial piercing so <laughs> this is an interesting story or maybe not but i was just i was in university i was walking to the to the store and I saw like the local piercer in my like close to my res was having a two for one special and I had always seen this piercing I thought oh that's interesting um oh no so it was like get one piercing for this price but then get two piercings for uh, another price and it turned out to be cheaper so I thought oh this is probably going to be two two piercings so I went in and I got it done turns out it was just one piercing but I mean I didn't have anything else that I wanted to pierce at the time. This one was shocking. <laughs> it was shockingly painful. Um, I mean, cause he, he went all the way through, right? So I think pain wise, and this is like the scale out of 10. I don't know if I said that before. Pain wise, I would say it was a, a seven just because the needle is going all the way through. I don't know if there's piercers who do one and one and then like, you know, connect it afterwards. But I think because of the prolongedness of it being in here, while well, it still needs to go to the other side, you know, that that increases the pain. Um, but healing. Hmm. Healing, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 is like a 12. Um, yo. Like I would be in class and I just feel wetness. And it turns out my ear is just bleeding. Like, you know, it was, it was difficult. It was a difficult one. Um, I'm happy that I stuck it through because the result is great. Um, I did get like a bit of a keloid over here because during that time I was like getting into my natural hair and like, you know, trying products and all this stuff. So obviously, you know, it's right by my hair. So it was like, I, I had to, there were times where I had to just do a salt paste and like just put it on there. I'm not advising you to do this. This is not medical advice though. I just know it worked for me. Um, I did like a salt paste. So instead of saying, um, diluting the salt in the water and then like, you can't see the granules anymore. Like I, it was, it was like, if maybe equal parts salt and water and like, just let the salt 
dry on my ear to to dehydrate that keloid um but yeah this was this so with the lobes i used the clairs solution to clean it every day with this one i used salt water salt salt sea salt and water to heal this um interesting though because also with my other piercings i use something else so you know it's it's weird i don't know i don't know which one i prefer but luckily all of them have been successful heels um yeah so a 12 out of 10 for that one and then the next piercing that i got was the septum piercing um i'm just moving it so that you guys know it's not fake um this one i got in university again but from a different piercer because the piercer that i got this one from i think they either moved or they closed down um i got this piercing from in canal walk so for those of you who live in cape town there's a piercer in canal walk um a piercing studio in canal walk and that's where i got it done um and i told him that i was gonna eventually wear a ring on it so with that knowledge in mind he pierced it accordingly and he was fantastic okay um scale of one to ten pain wise one because he didn't go through he found my my sweet spot so he didn't go through any cartilage um there were some tears just because you know the nose area that happens um healing wise i pierced it with a horseshoe so um i just flipped it up for healing um i do like a little q-tip of salt water I also use salt water for this one um yeah q-tip every now and then but then it healed really really quickly like it's the best piercing that i have in terms of no issues no nothing so healing wise zero out of ten piercing one one out of ten um because it is a needle you know um yeah and then last year yeah last year during the pandemic i got a lot of piercings just because i'm working from home and so i have the time to like allow them to heal properly like i don't have to i'm not putting stuff in my hair i'm not putting on makeup as much so then it's like i have to worry about getting those my piercings dirty or them getting infected or anything like that so i got a lot done so <clears throat> i got um these two low piercings i got my death um let me see i don't know if you guys can see it my death over there i got over here there's i got two piercings here but one of them i had to take out and then i got my conch all pierced on the same day um a lot of people would not advise that you do something like that i do not regret that i did it um but don't take that as me advising you to do it but i didn't regret it and i would do it again and again and again and again just because i'm trying to get to my final look asap so um yeah like who's gonna wait uh, yeah between each no um so yeah um so let me let me preface this by saying i did the date first then the conch and then the lobes and that's the order that the the piercer did it i did it in santan city um at a place called black and white tattoos so in sports scene they have like a booth there for tattoos and piercing so i i did them there great place he's a the guy there's a great a great piercer but he's also an enabler because um if you're going there saying you want multiple stuff um he gives you ideas oh this would look nice oh that would look nice you know so it's like oh maybe i should get stuff you know but yeah no he's good so i'm um, i think they're probably going to be my my piercing place going forward for the next piercings that i get but yeah so it was the cartilage ones first and i wanted that on purpose because i expected them to be the the worst the conch 
not bad not bad at all i would give this a a a six out of ten no a five i give this a five out of ten uh for pain the date i'd give the date i'd give like a three because you you honestly like i don't know if we, i don't even know if there's no endings in here um but yeah the date i'd give like a three out of ten i think it's it's the fear of it and like there's like a needle in your ear like in your ear well that's what it looks like that maybe might hype you up to feel like you're feeling pain but it's you can't feel it you you legitimately cannot feel it so i'd give it a three um the lobes though your the lobes i'd give like a nine and i think it's just because it was a pressure build up from already having done the cartilage piercings and so then like the lobes it was like they were already like yeah they were already like bracing themselves because they're like there's a war on our ears what's going on <laughs> get to the trenches so yeah the the lobes were extremely painful um yeah yo and also so for the lobes because we adults now and we know better i i got them done with a needle not with a gun um yeah but then healing wise it was the other way around right so the lobes were good i think i would give them i'd give them a five a four five um it's just the, the one i had to take out just because it was just it was not cooperating um and also i think i like the look of asymmetrical ears and also i think this one i'm just gonna like go up i want to do like an anti-tragus or something yeah but yeah i i don't regret taking the second one out because i wanted to do either like a triangle formation but i've given up on that and um, this one is just you know straight line down which i like so yeah five four four and a half let's say and then death i give it a four i did get a bit of a keloid but you know tea tree oil helped with that um and like if you're on top of your cleaning you know making sure that you making sure that you clean both sides of it and that you clean your actual ears because our like earwax is a factor <laughs> okay um yeah it's you'll be fine and then the conch was like a like a 10 and that's only that's like because of isolated incidents so um i have a son and at the time that i got these he was still one years old so like you know children be out here with their hands especially those little toddlers bro so he was out here okay and there were moments where like it would it would catch and like you see how it's moving like this like imagine that happening but like forcefully at the hands of a child okay so yeah just the thought like yeah so but like you know we're on the other end we're on the other side of things you know everything's good it's healed the date is healed the lobes are healed the lobes heal much faster it's just you know cartilage takes a while um but yeah, they all healed they're doing really well um and then because of that i was like okay i think i was probably six to eight months after getting the, that milk that cluster i came in and i did my what is this a rook can you see it I hope you can i've got my rook done um so with this one i wanted to do a double rook situation here um but then because we like they pierce with a 18 gauge needle so and i didn't want it to be like i didn't want them to be really far away from each other like i wanted to be like in the end i wanted to just be like two double rings so we couldn't do it then because then there was a chance that 
the hole would just expand into one big hole and like that's exactly what I do not want so we started off with one I'm thinking because now with like the Levisa stuff that I got I'm thinking it may be the right time to get the second one done but like I just need I need to see I need to see because with this rook it's an 18 gauge piercing right but then so when you're talking about thickness the smaller the number the smaller the gauge the thicker the needle so um yeah like my low piercings like this would be like a 20 gauge but then this would be like a 18 to a 16 gauge and you can see there's definitely a difference in thickness going on here so with my rook we pierced it with an 18 gauge but i do want it to shrink down to a 20 gauge size and i think that could possibly happen i'm not sure about the science of it but that could possibly happen if i put in a 20 gauge um ring in there but i'm not sure because i want the hole to shrink a bit so that it makes room for the second one then i'll have two 20 gauge little miniature rings going in the rook it's i, I just think that look is just so pretty um but yeah so piercing wise hmm. i'd give this one like a, a six and a half because it's similar to it's similar to the industrial i think like anything above here starts getting painful and then here it's like the nerves die <laughs> or something and then here it starts getting painful again um yeah and maybe it's a blood supply thing but yeah so this rook was like a six and a half healing wise i'd give it like a four um i didn't have as many problems with this one it's just because because it's like you know it's like in the fold of your ear cleaning it for the first two weeks can be a bit painful especially if you're going to be using a q-tip because it's like you have to go in there but it's like it's kind of foreign for me because normally when you clean your ears you clean your ears a whole or you're going in with a q-tip inside your ear so like those little folds keep be mindful of that but let's go into the jewelry haul and like what's great about lovisa is they do have stuff that is geared towards actual like cartilage piercings and stuff not just you know the earrings for the lobes um because earrings for the lobes you know sometimes the material that's used can like make my skin go green and so i have to be very particular about the jewelry that i get so at least like i'm happy they have they have stuff pretty stuff for people who have piercings to the same degree that I do and then um, they also made out of surgical steel or they may have they do have ranges that are um, like hypo, hypoallergenic hyper hypo which the one which means it won't trigger an allergy within you so this is the first one uh it's a flat back oh and that's another thing i prefer flat backs to like the barbell ones where it's like round at the back here so i prefer for it to be flat just because um that's how i was pierced with flat backs so well at least for my conch i was everyone else is a barbell but yeah i prefer flat backs especially when it comes here i don't know i just it's the, the 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 impression that the ball makes i don't enjoy because even with my industrial as you can see like at the end of these cones it's flat and i've had co i've had like a round situation and it did actually make like an impression that i didn't like so this one i think would most likely go in my conch this is a 16 gauge and it was 220 rand and then the next one is oh, can you see it yeah that's what i want to go in my rook 
but this is an 18 gauge one so i just wanna yeah i just want to try it out and see if i like how it looks um so yeah it's gonna go that one's gonna go here for sure for sure for sure um and it's nice and tiny uh it was 190 rand so yeah it's saying 18 gauge is one millimeter and then 16 gauge is 1.2 millimeters that's like the translation from gauge to millimeters in terms of how thick it is um yeah and then next i have these ones also surgical steel this is like a rose gold so um if i can't get that ring in then i'm gonna put this this barbell in there and then this one at the top here i was like playing around to see do i want to have that one in my day i'm not sure um my pieces says if i'm gonna change my jewelry i must go to him like i must he's the only person i should trust and i i, I believe it just because when he was like trying to get my date, like the 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 ball to screw and stuff, like it was it was difficult. It was hard. So yeah, like I was gonna try and show you guys me. I was gonna try and show you me putting this on on camera. But then I remember these sage advice. I think sage is the good word. I think sage means good. Yeah, I was, I remember his advice and I think I'm going to go to him rather. And then this is just a plain ring. So this one would either go in my day or as a ring over here on my conch. So it will just be a ring, like a little thin, you know, because I work in finance. Um or I work in banking and as as many like I have a lot of piercings a lot of people maybe you may not expect someone in banking to have piercings the way that I do but I think it can still be a classy look I know it can I mean it is as it currently stands so I want to either put this one in my conch or I'm going to put it in my my day we'll see and then lastly i have these huggies these are so beautiful these are so beautiful i love them so much this is the exact vibe i wanted because this is just like a it's like a bootleg ring you see you guys can see there um because i couldn't i couldn't get the the string in the ball so i just i just squished it i was like whatever i need something in this hole um and that's another thing right so when i got my lobes pierced i had to put i didn't wear earrings in these lobes um but i had to put something in because it felt like they were closing i don't know if because it, next to it there was like you know healing activity going on so it like kind of spread to here so it's like if i didn't put it in it would have closed i'm not sure but I suspect. Um, but yeah, so because of this, and I like the look of it just being, you know, a ring or a little, you know, dainty thing like that. So I want to put these huggies in. And these were 220 rand. And these ones, the rose gold ones I showed you, were 230 rand. And then this ring which is a 20 gauge is 200 rand <clears throat> so yeah that is the story with my piercings i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please comment down below um don't forget to subscribe to my channel i mean if this is your first video that you're watching of me then i forgive you but if it's, if this is number two if this is number three subscribe let's do it i i want to get some i want to get some more piercings um but i just i don't know 
I don't know where there's room. I don't know where there's space. Um, so you guys know I want to do the second rook. And that's if my anatomy allows. I don't know if it will. And then I want something else here. I don't know if I want to do something that like um, is in this area here. But then I know like the healing of that is just going to be hell. Um, the, what is this, a tragus? Yeah. Tragus piercings, I don't know about. Just because like, you know, when you, when you do your makeup, when you wash your face, your tragus is, well, at least my tragus is always involved. So I don't want to be it's gonna be get infected like i can almost i can almost guarantee it um on this side i'm thinking maybe a conch i think maybe a conch like i could do if i do a ring here then i can do this where is it now then i can do this one like over here and then have a ring i could i don't know or maybe even like a snug i don't know but thank you for watching the video guys i really appreciate it and i will see you in my next one bye